the Brazilian government showed once again its controversial stance on the Russian invasion against Ukraine, given the fact that Economy Minister Paulo Guedes said during an online event that uh, basically the Bolsonaro administration, the administration of right-wing president Jair Bolsonaro, strongly opposed the imposition of economic sanctions against Russia. This, of course, is essentially the first time that the economy minister shows his position in the Russian invasion. We need to remember that over the last few weeks since the Russian invasion against Ukraine started, different members of the Brazilian government has showed its disagreement with the different sanctions that the international community has executed against the Kremlin. However, there were many people that actually said that this opinion wasn't shared at all by the economy minister, given the fact that he has some political stance on Russia that are not exactly the same as the one that many members of the Bolsonaro administration has. However, this situation, of course, is quite surprising, uh, given the fact that in addition to these comments, uh, Paulo Guedes also explained that, uh, well, essentially that he, that he doesn't want any type of economic sanctions against Russia because this will essentially exclude uh, Russia for, from the different multilateral bodies, including the International Monetary Fund and, of course, the World Bank. Naturally, despite these comments, he, he also said that, that, of course, he and the Bolsonaro administration fully condemns the, the Russian invasion against, against Ukraine. However, it is quite concerning to see such a powerful and important government in South America making these types of comments and showing these types of stance in such an important and delicate geopolitical situation. So, the, I mean, these latest comments by, by Paulo Guedes, by Brazil's economic minister, uh, came a couple of, a couple of days after Reuters published a document that essentially revealed how Russia and how specifically the Kremlin has asked Brazil, the Brazilian government, for support in the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and even the G20 group of top economies in order to, to help Russia counter the different sanctions imposed by many nations. Of course, this is extremely controversial because basically we could say that these comments from, from Paulo Guedes could be not exactly his opinion, but actually something worse, a favor that he's doing for Russia, given the fact that Reuters published these controversial documents. Of course, this whole situation also, also shows that uh, Brazil's relationship with Russia is actually deeper than we expected. I mean, the depth of the relationship was seen during Bo Jair Bolsonaro's trip to Moscow a couple of days before the Russian invasion against Ukraine. However, we actually didn't thought that Bolsonaro would take this type of tense to the point of essentially being a really significant partner of Russia in this part of the world. Reporting from Medellin, Colombia, Luis Orozco, Newsweek.